Muslim families, friends, and the community come together today to celebrate Eid, the end of Ramadan. But as in many religions, some members of the faith don't always feel like they're fully part of that community. Reporter Wafa Shahid brings us the story of gay and transgender Muslims in the valley. The call to prayer unites the community across age barriers and cultural differences. Even in 21st century America, where the definition of community is rapidly changing. My sexuality has never gotten in the way of me being Muslim, and me being Muslim has never gotten in the way of me being gay. Magallanes is comfortable within the Muslim community here, but full acceptance is still a struggle for some LGBT Muslims. I certainly don't feel welcomed. Even if I am allowed there, it's not a comfortable welcoming experience. Her comments come as Muslims joined the masses across the country, denouncing the mass shooting that killed 49 people in a gay nightclub in Orlando last month. But Dawood questioned the sincerity of those statements. Overall, they've never stood with the LGBT community. I mean, they've none of these organizations or mainstream leaders have ever stood with the LGBT community on anything. They never have. But an official with the Muslim Public Affairs Council says respecting differences is a key part of Islam. In Islam, we believe there's no compulsion in religion. So um, any way you choose to practice it, that's between you and God. Everybody is deserving of respect. And no matter what your view on certain issues are, uh, people should be afforded that uh, dignity. Right now, there is disagreement on how to address the LGBT community, but Inam is hopeful that it is temporary. Usually people slowly but surely get more open and accepting. So it may take a while, but um, it'll probably happen. Reporting in Phoenix, I'm Wafa Shahid, Cronkite News. The Muslim Public Affairs Council and the LGBT activists did agree that horrific events like the Orlando shooting shouldn't be the catalyst of sudden respect for LGBT Muslims, but rather tolerance should be something that's always practiced.